This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and here is one of the questions. Glenn asks, I have footage of my grandson dragging his toy lightsaber across the carpet. I would like to make it look like the carpet is catching fire and burning as he drags it. Can I do this in motion? And the answer is yes, though you can probably do a better job in some other effects software, higher end software, at least motion is available. Let me show you how we could do this. One of the nice things about effects <laughs> is that there's multiple ways to do the same thing. First, I need a lightsaber. Not having a grandson or a lightsaber, that's the best I could come up with. <laughs> that's my lightsaber. And he's dragging it across the carpet. Let's watch that again. That is incredible. I mean, have you ever seen a more incredible lightsaber? <laughs> All right, so let's add, uh, let's add a flame to that. Which is nice, but... It flames doesn't, we need to add a burned path. So let's try this. What we've done is we've created a really good example of what an effect looks like. It's actually multiple layers. Now I'm not saying this looks like the perfect lightsaber burn, but it's a good illustration of some of the stuff we can do inside motion. I took the arrow, which is a shape from the library, and created a path for it to move along and set a beginning and ending duration with keyframes so that the movement was controlled by keyframes. When it came to the line, I drew a line with the pen tool, which would allow me to do curves if I wanted to. I drew a line, and then with the line, I applied, from the HUD, I applied a shape style, which is traditional, and the shape that I applied was this one right here, fresco, which gave me the ragged edge of a burn, and I changed the color of it to a dark gray. Then, with the dark gray already selected, I went to, hang on, get that out of the way, select the line, I went to Inspector, and changed the blend mode under Properties to Multiply. Multiply combines the darker pixels of the foreground with the background to make it look like the burn mark was actually burned into the carpet. The flame is a particle emitter, again from the library. Let's go to particle emitters, pyro. And I went down and selected the fire plume. Now what a particle emitter does is it's like spewing smoke out of a smokestack. Well, seeing as the smokestack starts here, the flame goes straight up, as does the smoke. But because I've got the flame moving, it gives me the illusion of the flame burning along the carpet that when the movement stops, the flame and the smoke catch up and burn straight up. I love the dynamic nature of how this seems to be trailing behind, which is much more like a regular fire would be than simply having a, a piece of light that travels across. The particle system makes that much more believable. Then I had it stay put for a little bit because the kid stopped dragging his lightsaber, and then I had it fade out because I couldn't figure out another way to end it. So I just had it fade out over a 20 frame fade to create the effect. The whole point of this is to say that there's lots of stuff we can do inside motion that can reinforce the effects that you want that is more than just simple title animation and that when we create effects we're generally working with more than one level at a time. Would I use this for a feature film? No. <laughs> I wouldn't do any graphics for a feature film. I'm not that good. But would I use it for a home movie or something to make the family laugh? Absolutely. It'd be perfect for that and does a great job. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 297. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and 
time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than nineteen hundred movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.